Article 18, shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in a three-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the State Employees Association, Local 1984, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level. 2017, $74,207, that's 39 weeks over the 2016 level. 2018, $101,290 over the 2017 level for the full year. 2019, 83,354 for the full year over the 2018 level. 2020, 16,974 for 13 weeks over the 2019 level. And further to raise and appropriate the sum of $74,207 to fund the cost items related to the State Employees Association Local 1984 salaries and benefits for 2017. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2016 budget level for the first three of three years that are contained in a collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the State Employees Association Local 1984 pursuant to NHRSA 273A. The compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years of the agreement is estimated to be 534000 $42 majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee, 8-4. to four. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2017 tax impact is 2.2 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion? Article 18, moved by Mr. Bridal. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Griffin. Mr. Sullivan, would you like to speak to Article 18? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, this contract is with uh, the SEIU in 1984, which again is, is our public works employees. There are local folks who work on our roads and our sewer plants and, and do the work for us. This is a three-year contract with a 333, um, similar uh, issues with the prescription plan and other language changes with respect to uh, insurance. Um, and there were a couple of uh, minor incentive changes with regard to um, incentives for this unit. Um, and again, I ask for your support on this and be happy to answer any questions specifically. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else wishing to be heard on uh, Article 18? Mr. Ryan? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Nick Bridal, 225 Till Farm Road. Uh, I would like to make a motion for this article um, that states after where it says the State Employees Association, SEA Local 1984, in parentheses, um, stating that it covers many of the Department of Public Works employees. Um, just so that way it can more, it's a friendly adornment to more actively notify the group of people in this town who this Warren article directly affects. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask if there is a second for Mr. Bridal's uh, motion to amend. Can one second that? Um, uh, I got a second. Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke, back there. Okay, John Burke. Um, would you like to say uh, any further comment? If on I that? just had one more moment. Yep. Um, I didn't speak to any of the earlier contracts in this as well, but these are people in our town, our town employees, who the expectation of these employees, regardless of um, which contract covers them, the expectation of these employees is to be 100% uh, of your attention every single time they're called to service. Whether it's snow outside on the ground, whether it's I have a raccoon in my basement, whether it's a fire or any other situation like that. When you have an emergency at your house, you expect 100% of their effort to be focused to your singular attention. That's a big demand, and I know our town employees here are happy to do it. Um, I, I would recommend this um, amendment just to further uh, notify the people who uh, are affected by this one, and I ask that everybody support these contracts as well. So let's go out for a vote on Mr. Bridal's amendment, which is an effort to uh, more further um, uh, elaborate on who this particular article, Article um, 18, uh, covers. So if you're, in, if you're voting yes on the bridal amendment, you are voting uh, in favor of adding the language covers. Um, yeah. 
covering many of the Department of Public Works employees. I think that appears in two places, uh, paragraph one, and then uh, here you go. Covering many Department of Public Works employees. Right? And then the same language in um, paragraph, I'll call it paragraph three, um, after local 1984. So all those in favor of that, um, of the bridal amendment, raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards, any opposed? The bridal amendment has passed. Anyone wishing to speak to article 18 as amended, Mr. Jones? Yeah, my name's Alan Jones, 147 Exeter Road. I'm fully in support of this amendment. And I'd like to say that uh, I've worked for the town for 30 years. I've seen a lot of water go over the dam, literally. And uh, these are good people. This is a fair agreement. I'd like to thank Jamie Sullivan and Mark Gerald for their honest discussions they had with us in the support of this board. Please come out and support this article and all Public Works articles and the public work, the public employees at large. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Jacob? The SEA employees within the public works department are on my line in gray, men and women who get the job done day in and day out. I think we have a starting salary as it currently sets to a few cents below $14. I'm always amazed um, that I'm able to find qualified people who are willing to do this job for, for $14 an hour. Because not only do we ask them to show up every day drug-free, um, awake, uh, fully prepared physically and mentally to do the job, we ask for them a, uh, to obtain uh, town-wide, all these employees, the CDL Class B license, which they then have to maintain their health to, to keep that the rest of their working careers. It's, it's a lot to ask, and um, I'm really impressed and pleased with the team that I have, and um, I think that approval of the contract goes a long way to getting their, um, if you will, it's a pat on the back for the job that they do do, because uh, Two years ago, I know many times we plowed snow 30 hours in a row, and these are the people that do it. Uh, yeah, we pay them overtime for that, but um, some of them were the walking zombies at the end of the 30 hours. And uh, I, I'm just, as I say, day in and day out amazed at the professionalism they bring to the job and, uh, and how they handle themselves and, and what they're asked to do. And I never, I don't think I've ever received a and I'm not interested in doing that. They always seem to step up. They do step up and do what's asked of them day in and day out. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. I'd just like to mention kind of a hidden benefit that we have this year in the negotiation of these uh, contracts that a lot of people probably don't remember. Uh, the last time, Mr. McMahon uh, mentioned that the last time that we had all of the contracts negotiated at the same time was some 15 years ago. It was actually a little more than that. Uh, I was on the Board of Selectmen at that time, and it had taken several years to try and get all of the contracts together so that they all had the same equivalent provisions in them. Uh, the benefit is that this prevents each year one union from saying, hey, I want what they got and a little bit more, and then the next one says, I want that and that and a little bit more, and you keep leapfrogging, and it ends up costing us more in the long run. This is more equitable to all of the town employees. Uh, it actually saves money in the long run, and uh, I think that it, uh, uh, instead of, we, we'd gotten away from it for a while, for a few years, I'm, I'm very happy to see it back on there, and I think that this is a good set of contracts. Thank you, Mr. Rice. And seeing no one further, I want, Bob, yeah. Um, I'd just like to echo Mr. Griffin's comments from earlier, uh, thanking uh, Assistant Town Manager Sullivan for his leadership in this process. I did want to say that uh, tomorrow is the one day of the year where Jamie is all wet, 
because he does uh, plunge for New Hampshire Special Olympics. Uh, the more contributions to New Hampshire Special Olympics he gets, the, the wetter he has to get, and I, for one, would like to contribute to that. All right, thank you very much. I'll let you do that with the town clerk, or to Jamie, um, directly. And I hope it's warmer tomorrow. <laughs> sure. Unfortunately, I will not be plunging tomorrow. I hurt my knee earlier in the week, but be more than happy to take donations that folks want to give to Special Olympics. It's a wonderful charity. It's a wonderful event. So if you wish to support that, we'll see that your money gets there. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you for your efforts in that regard. Uh, Article 19 is going to appear, um, or excuse me, Article 18 is going to appear on the ballot as printed. Uh, Mr.